and good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are I think that's a phrase I must have stolen from Jay in his uh, his <laughs> webinars welcome to being your own CEO this is a weekly success circle for solopreneurs and we get together because we enjoy each other's company and we like exchanging ideas and information and uh, of course for me it's all about giving and receiving support my no name is Lowell Ann and I've been in business since 1996 helping people get where they want to go so um, I'm probably going to for this morning because this is a, a, another one of those experiments and uh, um, that we've been playing with, I'm probably going to um, uh, dispense with our operating principles other than the, the main one, the most important one as far as I'm concerned is relationships before our business. So um, we have, I see we have Jay, uh, Jay and Craig and Vivek and so I'm going to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves say who they are and where they are and what they do and anything they w else they would like to say. So um, Vivek, you were here first, so you um, away you go. Namaste, my name is Vivek. VivekTechnology.com is my website. I believe in living a simple life. I believe in thinking different. I am proud to share my belief with uh, Steve Jobs and uh, Leonardo da Vinci who said simplicity is the ultimate in sophistication. So I believe in keeping things simple. I'm a software developer. I've been developing software since uh, 1980s. So um, project management is my uh, dream <laughs> project management <laughs> so what are you working on right now um uh, right now uh, working on a few things one um, android app uh, which uh, i did uh, give you a hint a couple of uh, weeks ago i think um and uh, yeah, um, in the green room you were talking about uh, uh, real life uh, uh, meetings and so on and event bride you mentioned. Okay. Uh, just this afternoon I saw a invite from someone who I know from a while ago. I haven't met her since for a long time. Uh, and she's hosting an event bright uh, event uh, in about two miles away from me so I can walk there mm -hmm. and participate in the event and uh, be part of the meeting part of the event <laughs> right on oh perfect yes we were talking about uh, how to uh, uh, promote and we, we can get to that uh, shortly so uh, welcome here and um, we will um, uh, look forward to hearing all about all your new projects <laughs> so uh, Craig how about you long time no see god it seems like forever since we chatted you were away and I was away and well one of the rules around here is if the uh if the business t the business takes precedent, so yeah, that's uh, absolutely for some reason at noon on Tuesday it seems to be <laughs> that seems to be the case, but uh, yeah, you guys are just getting started with your day. I'm halfway through it, so <coughs> anyhow, in um, Rochester, I, I am in Rod outside of Rochester, New York, uh, which is we call this Western New York. Uh, it's interesting New York is uh, when you leave the city you go into upstate New York and that's pretty much uh, from 
New York City north to Albany and up into the Adirondacks. But then everybody thinks, oh, well, that's upstate New York. No, upstate New York is the rest of the state. <laughs> we actually have central and western New York. So, anyway, um, I, I am in western New York, and um, I help small businesses uh, through my company, Who Marketing, that's H-O-O, -O, um, with their online presence and getting them started with, with uh, uh, trying to get people in the door uh, via their online presence so mm -hmm. right on I do I love your I love your t-shirt this morning oh yes it says my, <laughs> my therapist has a wet nose <laughs> love that <laughs> so good to have you back Craig <laughs> I, I actually have uh, two dogs that are certified therapy dogs so. uh, oh one of the many interests that you have Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Life is never boring for you, I don't think. No, no, it isn't. It's a <laughs> no. <slow> day. <laughs> okay, right on. And um, Jay, uh, what's about the hat this morning? Uh, it's about it's summertime. <laughs> got to keep the uh, got to keep the beautiful face beautiful, right? And keep it out of the sun. <laughs> oh. Or keep the glare off your glasses. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I actually, to be honest with you, I actually woke up a little late today, so I'm I was rushing to the office here, so I just kind of. Uh, oh, you're having a bad hair day, you mean? Yeah. Well, I just I didn't have time to go to the makeup trailer, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hi, my name is Jay, and uh, my company is Magi Studios, and I help people get started in the world of online marketing. Uh, I've been doing uh, online-based marketing and design for uh, over 10 years, and uh, loved every minute of it. <clears throat> Wouldn't change it for the world. I'm also a full-time affiliate marketer. Uh, where you uh, basically promote and review items uh, such as obscure things that where you can eat snacks out of football helmets and, and many other fun <laughs> things like that. We're all gig we're giggling because we all know about <laughs> snack helmets. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, it's good to have you have you here. Oh, I, I also have to say featured on the Good Morning America show. I forgot. I got I got <laughs> I gotta keep uh, saying that. I always forget about that. It was featured <laughs> on Good Morning America. <laughs> oh dear, that's so cool. <laughs> and I'm I'm in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah. Okay. And we forgot to uh, mention to everyone that uh, Vivek is in the United Kingdom, not far from London. <laughs> So, and uh, for myself, I am also in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And uh, my business is Work Style Lifestyle Consulting. I work with solopreneurs as a business and career coach. And um, I like doing things online and helping, uh, helping solopreneurs figure out how to be more efficient and get their, their online presence working a little better. And uh, my announcement is that I'm starting up and have held a couple of uh, mastermind sessions. Not many people showed up, but you got to start somewhere uh, on um, working uh, with your uh, Android phone and making a better use of your Android phone. You know, even even Google started out of a, out of a garage, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Rome was never it was not built in a day. That's for sure. <laughs> so, anyway, so. Um, <laughs> From where I sit, the most important thing is whether we're having fun. Got to have fun. Got to be interesting, and it's got to be fun. So, so this morning, um, this is a kind of a um, um, a continuation of conversation. I think we started in the green room after last week, and so uh, we thought we would talk about. Um, creating our own pathways for our own business. And um, so I guess the, the first question to get us rolling would be what, what the heck do we mean by 
creating our own pathways. So I can certainly say what it means to me uh, after going out and playing on in uh, all kinds of places and seeing how everything changes, etc., etc. I've made the decision that um, whatever I do from here on in is going to happen on my website. So that's what I mean by creating my own pathways. So um, today um, you folks may have noticed that um, I started this, um, this hangout um, in the old traditional way. Uh, Vivek and I have been working on a, um, a process I uh, started out um, after I set this today's up, working through a simple, hopefully a simplified process using the Google Hangout, the new mobile Google Hangout approach. So, um, so that's why you see everything uh, is a little bit different. This morning we're not using business Hangouts; we're we're um, using just the old traditional way. Next time, um, it will be slightly different again. So, um, so that's one piece. The other piece, the, um, uh, you know, working on developing some online courses, and I think I've discovered a place and a way to uh, to do that, and also host those on my own website. So, for me, uh, creating my own your own pathways for your own business is to have everything on my own website. So that's that's what it means for me, and I would invite um, you uh, uh, others to kind of say, what does it mean for you, or is it does it differ in any way from what I just said? Um, Lovellan, I can report that uh, you are actually live on your website. I just checked. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the intent. That was the intent. That was uh, what today's experiment was about, was to make sure that I would be able to host this um, this live hangout on air on my website. So that is so that's a success for for me today for sure. And on top of that, it would appear that you are actually broadcasting live inside your community in Google Plus. Yes, and. Also in YouTube. Correct. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I might just say the other the other piece of what we were playing with was whether we could get comments, whether I could get comments stream to uh, uh, because if we're doing it the, the old-fashioned way, we really need to uh, to be able to include the comments. And so I, I'll share with you the comment stream. I did post something, and that allowed me to uh, to get comment stream working. So uh, this is not going to be uh, you're you're probably going to look all over the place where you would actually add a comment, but that will come next week. I do know that. Uh, it uh, it's a little bit limited this morning, but at least I did figure out. Um, a way to um, a, a reasonably simple way to make comment stream work. So, and that's that's another piece of making uh, making this all work. So, okay. So, what does creating your own pathway? What what what's that mean to you 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 folks? Uh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> um, you know, for, for those of you who don't know, I, I teach internet marketing to uh, a number of folks inside a website called Wealthy Affiliate, and I've been doing it for oh four or five years now. I think I, I, I've lost track how many years I've been doing it, but um, over those years, I, I get to see people come back because uh, we do these every Friday, and I also get to see people's. Uh, evolution of becoming an affiliate marketing uh, affiliate marketer or starting an online business and uh, you know I see a pattern I always see this pattern and and there's lots of patterns that I see but the one big pattern that I always see <clears throat> is 
that people are relying, relying on all the training, all this type of training to, 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 to pave a path. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they're, so essentially they're following on the coattails of someone else's path. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but let's say that that person uh, is, is bricking their path from several different training sources, from, you know, from several different websites. So that path it's like it's like getting uh, bricks from different suppliers. They're not all going to be the same. So your path is going to be kind of rickety, and eventually your path is going to run out. And when your path runs out, you can either take that step and build your own path, or you can continue to find training resources to continue down that path. And what I see is that every a lot of people are are just finding other sources to continue down this training path. Um, so my point is that I think it's really important to, to, to have any sort of success, uh, and, you know, there's, there's a huge definition of success, right? I mean, there's, you know, however, whatever you define success as. But, you know, to have success, I really do think that you need to take a little bit of training, absorb that, and then go on your own. Mm -hmm. By testing, trying out, you know, you you need to break this kind of recycling circle of, of training, doing, training, doing, training, doing, versus training, doing, experimenting, trying, failing, and paving it out yourself, right? Creating. Yes, huge, you know, huge, huge difference. You know, I mean, if you think of uh, people who are... are um, were very successful and have made a real impact in our world uh, from the digital or technology perspective. Elon Musk, um, you know, he's certainly not someone who's who's following someone else's footsteps. Um, our friend Steve Jobs, as Vivek yeah. likes to follow his simplicity, you know, he's certainly someone that that wasn't following someone else. Um, I, I forget his name, but the uh, the guy who. Uh, does Virgin Airlines. <clears throat> oh, yes. I can see his face. <laughs> Richard Branson. Thank you, Sir Richard Branson. Yes. You know? Yes. So, you know, it's, it's all about creating your own path, absorbing knowledge from whatever source that you want, and then just going off and doing it. Like, and I just recently kind of discovered this within the last two years, and since I've adopted this kind of thought process, my business has gone up, right? My business has really gone forward. Um, you know, I, I never thought I would be in a, in a place where I'd have software that's been developed, you know, um, that, that I had a, a huge impact in developing. You know, never I would have thought that, and never I would have thought I was in the position that I am now you know, as a business owner, uh, if I if I didn't choose and create my own path. So that's essentially what my definition of, you know, mm -hmm. is, is kind of creating your own path, is, is taking the knowledge that you've learned and making it your own, you yeah. know. And, and a great example is, so like that football snack helmet site we talk about, we joke about often, you know, there's there are a plethora of people that that like copied it, like from like start to finish, from like the uh, even the like someone b built one that says football snack helmets with three O's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how! <laughs> so you know, and my, and then there's my football snack comment. So and it's just selling the exact same thing, right? Same content. Same. There's even one that's uh, selling. Uh, and actually, Craig pointed this out to me. Uh, uh, helmets, uh, uh, motorcycle helmets. Those are cheap motorcycle helmets. But it's actually my content that's on his site, on their site. So, so I mean, you know, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> or you can choose your own path and go down, you know, you can take take the knowledge and then you can walk away with it and you can kind of do your own thing, 
Yeah. Right? So it's all about, you know, creating your own path and, and going down the route, uh, taking that knowledge and making it your own. That's a, a, um, a good point, and it's, what, it's something that I notice. Well, I've noticed in myself uh, uh, on the odd time, but I, I notice a, a great deal with, with uh, solopreneurs when they're first starting out. Um, they get it on this treadmill. Oh, I can't do this because I, yes. I, have to, I have to take that course. And now I have to take another course. And now I have to take another course. And so they never ever kind of are, are, well, it's, usually what happens is that through that process, they run out of money and, and then go back to um, a regular job job. Yeah, it's that fear of getting off the treadmill and actually going out for the run. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I mean, at some point we have to, we do, we have to just sort of grab it and make it our own. I mean, and, and it's interesting that you um, you you use that phrase because I remember using that phrase and noticing uh, my husband is a is a musician or uh, was a musician years ago in the in the folk music era, and mm -hmm. it was really interesting to watch him take a song and make it his own. It would take him hours. Of singing that same song over and over and over until it was truly his song, and so when he did his concerts, um, he would—I mean, every everything he did, every song he sang was his song. It never sounded the way somebody else did it, yeah. and uh, I mean that—that's that, basically what we're talking about here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, abs absolutely. Do you want to be a cover band? Or do you want to take something and roll yeah. with it and make it your own? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And 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 it's I mean it's really evident wherever you go in the world and you look at these these leaders of industries or these leaders of of, of business, you know, and they're not the ones that are are following other I mean you can have a mentor, absolutely. That's a great I mean, I, I highly recommend having a mentor. Um, but Taking that information and then making it your own, you know, and you look across the world through the ages of time, all the way going back to, you know, uh, uh, Renaissance painters, you know, it's all about doing your own thing and, and, and marketing it that way, you know, as opposed to just following someone else's footsteps. Yeah, absolutely. So making it uh, making it your own, um, uh, Craig and or uh, I see Vivek has got something he obviously wants to share with us. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, uh, this is um, Jay. You were mentioning making your own uh, path and so on. So this is what Google itself has uh, brought out. They are going to let you earn Google Play credits for answering short surveys. Uh -huh. uh, this, is a, this is an app that you can uh, uh, download onto your uh, mobile phone. And uh, of course, it does mean that uh, you have to allow Google to sort of in a way, they would be tracking where you are, what you are doing, not not exactly what you are doing, but where mm -hmm. you are. Are you in a coffee shop? Are you in a business center? Are you in a different town? Uh, things like that. And then based on that, they would send you uh, surveys. You mm -hmm. answer the surveys, and then they would give you the credits for, uh, based on the, the, the credit will be on Google Play. So yeah. You can then use the those credits to get uh, uh, something from the Google Play Store. Wow! So that's this, uh, I, I saw this uh, shared by uh, William Rock, who is a top contributor for uh, Google. Uh, he's a friend of mine, so uh, he did participate in a few hangouts that I did uh, long ago. But uh, so I, I have a question about a a top contributor or or attaining to that level of being a top contributor. What is the benefit of being a top contributor at Google? 
benefit of being a top contributor is you get to know some of the confidential information that goes on within Google. Right. And uh, you can do certain things, your, your business, you can align your business in certain way. Of course, you won't be able to, uh, you will not be allowed to talk about that specific thing in public until it becomes uh, oh. public knowledge. But you can align your business to match w w what is coming up uh, and so on. Yes. So you have a better chance of succeeding in your business. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Is there a secret handshake? <laughs> well, I don't like insider <laughs> trading. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I just remember Ronnie Bencer when uh, when we were all learning how to do hangouts. He was he was part of that, and he would often um, be able to point us all in a certain direction without actually saying certain things. So yeah, yeah, yeah because it, it kind of helps you be on the leading edge. Yeah, because most of the things that uh, uh, Google does uh, often will be covered by uh, NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, and uh, you won't be allowed to uh, explain in certain ways, but you can still explain it in a different way, and I mean... Yeah. Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was interesting. That was Monty Python's The Machine That Goes Bing. <laughs> <laughs> that was somebody sending me a message. Oh, ping. That was a ping, was it? Not a... <laughs> so... It appears it's J.P. Morgan. They want me to... Uh... Yeah. Are they moving off? He was out of London? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what about you? Uh, what about um, uh, Craig and Vivek? I mean, uh, Jay has really sort of given his take on creating your own pathway. What about you guys? Well, I, I think it takes a little bit of experimentation. Um, you know, there. Um, it, it's it's wonderful when you have a mentor, but. Um, you have to look at what what your um, experiences are and uh, bring those into the into the mix. Um, you know you're you're not somebody else, and um, you know what it, what is it that you've done in your life um, that that is different from what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at doing a woodworking site, and what I see is that. Hey, I've I've built a couple of canoes, and I don't see anybody out there that is doing anything with canoe building, and so I think that might be a uh, a springboard to getting some attention that other people, you know, there are a lot of people out there that like to play on the water, and uh, certainly building your own hull is is a one way to do that. So. So um, and and so bringing uh, that's a, such a really good point. Bringing bringing your own skills and your own um, um, your own abilities and your own knowledge. But um, there's another piece there that I, that I would guess, and that is it's something that you just loved do to do. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, and and um, I mean it's it's become kind of hackneyed to say bring in your passion. But um, it's got to be it's. To, to but it make really helps when you have the passion. Yeah, it, it all depends on um, um, you knowing why you are doing what you are doing. Yes. When Absolutely. you know why you are doing what you are doing, um, then oh, yeah, you one can of the put. Other, it one of the other online things is find your why. Yes. Yeah. That's, um, that's one of the cliches is find your why. <laughs> it, uh, it becomes a cliche when um, someone uh, tries to sell a course or uh, training material to uh, sell what they are doing. But uh, um, 
you need to know why you are doing what you are doing that then um, any anything that happens along the way as an obstacle you can you'll be able to come, come overcome that and uh, um, to to you will be able to create your own path and get to where you are uh, going because you know why you are doing it so but your why I, I, I mean I, I'm, I'm not going to disagree here your why um, your why can include a number of reasons mm. one of them to, uh, being to make a living or to make money or to make a name or whatever whatever but it's still if you don't just love doing it yeah, you're never going to. It's you're you're not. You, there's, it's impossible to stay with it mm -hmm. for the uh, uh, in the kind of detail and the kind of attention that it requires to make it go. Yeah, gotta yeah. love doing it. Can I pick up on on what you just said? And I think what you just said there is you gotta love doing it. I notice the people that say when, whenever I ask the same question, why are you wanting to become an, uh, an internet marketer? Why, why do you want to get in, involved in this? And you know, when they first get started, it's about replacing their job income, which is which is all fine and dandy. But I think there needs to be a natural progression or a natural evolution of well, I'm doing this to make money, and then I think that should change as the second why. And I think the first why is to help people. Yes. Right? And I think with that particular mindset, when you say, okay, well, I really want to help people, <clears throat> um, the, the money, the, the, you know, the, the second one, the second why will come in, which is usually, you know, income replacement, uh, residual income, you know, full-time income, you know, whatever, it may, whatever financial goals that you have, right? And I, I really do think that that's, that's a huge... Um, thing that one needs to do to, to really go forward is, you know, oh, I'm just in this to make money, right? Um, you know, it's like the difference between a uh, very crude a metaphor, but like a, a criminal stealing and reselling is not in it to help, you know, they're not being Robin Hood, right? They're in it for the money, yeah. <laughs> right? But there, there's, a, there's a cycle there. You know, there's that cycle. So breaking that cycle of doing it to help people, and that's that's one of those kind of profound moments that I had, because uh, you know I was just thinking about, well, okay, well, you know, traffic equals money. If I write so many articles and this and that, you know, but <clears throat> and and it was actually in Vegas a couple of years ago that I had that kind of moment of, of clarity, if you will, is about, well, what about helping people? So well, yeah, that's that's totally true. Like, look at what I do in you know, wealthy affiliate in terms of um, uh, the webinars, and it's it's actually helping people. So I think if you have that, change that mindset. You know, why is why is Elon Musk making Tesla cars? Why is he doing all sorts of things with renewable energy and whatnot? Well, is it to make money? Yeah, but it's also to help. You know, but primarily it's to help the environment and to make it you know less reliant on fossil fuels, right? Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, it's interesting that you you said you had that magic moment. I it's what I would call an epiphany. <laughs> um, but the other the other piece around all of this, uh, and and this is um, it goes back to um, I guess the the um, uh, phrase that I used when we opened uh, relationships before business. I mean, to in order to help people, we have to have a relationship with them in some way and and so and uh, this gets uh, will will take us into <laughs> well it's too bad Roland isn't here because he would he would be on his soapbox right now talking about you know the inbound and the outbound kinds of, of uh, marketing but pushing stuff out at people is not helping them you can, I mean, you really, there is no helping, there's no helping going on until there, there's a relationship and a, and a, um, a level of trust somewhere. And exactly. If those, yeah. if those two pieces aren't there, it's, it's, it's not happening. So yeah. pushing um, uh, ads out on, on the internet, hoping people will click in and buy, is not, is not going to do it. 
Yeah, I, I was at an internet marketing conference a number of years ago, and I remember a guy, uh, his name was Perry Belcher, he told this funny story about how exactly what you're saying is you, you can't sell to people right away. And he said, imagine inviting someone over to a barbecue, to, to your place, to a barbecue, and, you, and hey, they ring the doorbell and they come on in, and hey, come on in, have a seat, sit down in the, in, uh, and have, a, you know, have a, a, a drink, and then all of a sudden, boom, you sell them, you sell them something, right? It's all about building relationships. You, know, you need to build a relationship with your, your, your clientele. And, but, but, you know, on, on the flip side, there's, there's a very fine line as to how far you need to go to build that relationship before yeah. you, you yeah. sell to them. What is the purpose of building the relationship? Well, it's to build trust, right? Because we're, we're in an industry where trust is not, well, I think just in society in general, trust is not given right away. You have to earn that trust with your clients and your customers. Absolutely. Right? There's that age-old saying, you know, it takes seven times to say no, you know, before you get that sale, right? Um, and that's about, it's just because it's building trust, right? And I think you need to have a conversation with someone seven times before you try to sell them, right? Versus trying to sell them seven times until they finally get just fed up with you <laughs> trying to sell them. Yes, all right, fine, just leave me alone. <laughs> You know, I think I think you need to build build a relationship. Um, and you know, I I, I remember a guy. Uh, his name is Travis Sago, and he was actually one of the guys who kind of got me involved in in affiliate marketing. And I had the honor, of, and I found as that I really trusted him. And it was really just the way he he really stood out amongst all these other kind of internet marketers at the time. And it was just merely the way he spoke. He was this guy from from Kentucky, mm -hmm. right? And he, he had real big Southern drawl, and and even it, it, that Southern drawl kind of came through in his emails as well. And that's because he was a really big email marketer, and and he had, he had kind of coined the phrase bum marketer and what that meant was you know you can really do a lot of <clears throat> earn, earn income by helping people by writing a lot of articles mm -hmm. and I, anyway my point is that he really changed I think really changed the industry or, or did a real impact on the industry because he coined a phrase and he was really genuine about helping people Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, it was it was really neat, and I had the honor to meet him, you know, many years down the road in Las Vegas at a WA Super Conference, and it was it was really neat and really humbling to see. He's exactly how he is when he writes his emails, you know. He's just this this humble country bumpkin guy. He's a really nice, friendly guy, and and so it was great to see that there was very there's a lot of transparency in that, mm -hmm. you know, in the way he markets to you and who he actually is. So. so being yourself, being having the courage to just be yourself. Yeah, don't be a salesman, right? Don't be the, the, car, the used car salesman. Yeah, and it's too bad Paul isn't here because he'd be saying, oh, yeah, it's that damn sales brat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe he's out there watching. I don't know. Isn't he, uh, from, um, isn't he from Arkansas, Jay? Yeah, I, I, th those are all. Those places are all muddled into one spot for, for me. So yes, probably. Yeah, the United <laughs> States. I know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> America. 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 <laughs> <laughs> By the way, before I forget, um, did you, um, Craig? Did you celebrate uh, Independence Day well? Well, I have three dogs, and several of them are not real. Fond of fireworks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, so we had a nice quiet night inside. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, and and there's been all kinds of funny stuff on the inter, uh, on Facebook. I guess it was mostly where um, people, some people thought that Canadians uh, were trying to copycat Americans by having their Canada Day in the wrong place. And you guys always <laughs> do it all like, kinds of really weird stuff. You guys always do it a little bit ahead of us. I mean, yeah. you, have, you have your Canada Day, or your Canada Day, like, what was that? On couple July months? 1. July 1st. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, 
anyway, uh, you have your Thanksgiving a whole month before ours, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we had to celebrate somebody like Columbus or some such. <laughs> But you know, I mean, uh, I don't. I, I mean, this is totally off topic. But uh, one of the things that uh, all this stuff that I've been reading uh, has pointed up to me, and it, um, it it sort of goes back to my own own family history. Uh, um, and uh, there was a comment that uh, came up with a conversation between uh, uh, Vivek and Roland and I on on. Uh, uh, the other day, uh, where we were talking about this, and it, it, I mean, it really, when you think about it, Canada, then U.S. and the England, we are so intertwined. We have, we share so much history, and even though there were conflicts and all kinds of things, uh, it somehow, I don't know why it came, it, it came very clear to me this, uh, this last. Maybe it's because so much is happening in um, uh, in the UK right now, and um, the, the elections going on in the <laughs> in the USA. There just seem to be a whole lot of things converging that just uh, points up how 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 much we share. Oh, and that's because we're a multicultural nation, yeah. right? And I think that's how we we get affected by a lot of these things. So yeah. That's true. And we are too, unless we hire Trump, in which case. We'll... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted to share this uh, quote from John Jukiewicz. He says, if you feel like you don't fit in this world, it is because you are here to help create a new one. Ah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's really cool. So, um, so yeah, uh, we got off topic, but we can often do that, don't we? <laughs> That's okay. So they all uh, this whole this whole piece about creating our own pathways for our own business, all the the pieces that that come in, um, our own creativity, being our being ourselves, and creating relationships and not sell, trying to sell, and all of those things. Um, if we, um, I guess, I guess for I'm trying to think of, of how all this fits together for 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 somebody who's really new, drive. Especially a lot of our our wealthy affiliate people are very new. Yes, and I think it it boils down to drive, having the. Uh, the chutzpah, if you will, you know, having that inertia and that drive to, to carry forward, having that passion, having that fire lit under you to to learn and try and try your own thing, you know, and, and adopt that that mythology, you know, that, that, that did, did, you, did you say fire lit under you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I would I would have rather used the term fire within you because I, I, I strongly believe everything comes from within. Absolutely, but also you have to get you need people need that boost initially, and we were specifically talking about very green people, very new new people. You know, they already have that fire within them to 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 learn and the passion to learn more, but they need that fire lit under them to to carry forward. Because they, they get caught in this treadmill, you know, learn, 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 and then get off and do. Learn, 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 and then get off and do. Versus having this equal balance of learning and doing, and then eventually replacing that balance of not being on that treadmill as long and, and getting off and actually running with it, you know. So so that, that kind of creates the drive within, is by lighting that fire under them. Mm. So um, and in another another um, um, I'm drawing parallels out of uh, out of what you're saying and and um, between that and uh, what goes on in in business coaching or within the coaching world it's there are so many um, people who um, they 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 look to uh, business coaches or any um, any kind of coach for depending on what they want to do because they have not been able to become uh, accountable to themselves. 
Yes. So they they look they look to some kind of it, something external to uh, to create that that accountability. I have to answer mm -hmm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, until we have that that uh, until we can internalize that accountability, um, I guess that drive is not is not is going to be sustained, is it? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Craig, what is that term? Craig, what is that term that you use? Uh, don't think outside of the box. Go around the box. I remember you used that term once upon a time. Yeah, and you took exception to it. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't think outside of the box. Get a new box. Right. Yeah. Or create a new box. Create a new box, yep. Yeah, well, I like that. I like that a lot, create a new box. So now, so here's, here's a few things that, that come up. Uh, in this whole this whole creativity piece and the drive etc and and that is the concept of experimentation being you know trying something and and, and observing to see what may uh, whether it works and knowing when to um, to abandon something when it doesn't work or to adjust it in some way to make it work and and uh, I mean that's that's um, uh, uh, another piece that uh, I guess we have to we have to have courage and um, we need to be able to um, take risk. I mean we're we're talking about an awful lot of hackneyed concepts that are out there all over the place, but by the same token, they they're so true. <laughs> Thomas Edison said. I've not failed. I just found uh, ten thousand ways that don't work. <laughs> yeah, right. And I love, I lo absolutely <laughs> love that quote because it's it's a positive attitude. It's trying new things until you get it right, mm -hmm. and being able to accept that that yeah, you're going to fail, right? I've done. I've failed lots of times. Haven't we all? <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Right. You gotta accept that and move forward, right? Get, as I say, get off the horse or get on that, get back on that horse, right? So, uh -huh. you know, and it's all about, and, and really, I think it really does boil down to drive. You know, having the drive and the passion to go forward. Yeah. Right. And and, and I think it's it's fine to start out in someone else's pathway, but I think it there comes a time when you have to kind of veer off that pathway a little bit. Uh -huh. You know, and I think that's really important. Mm. So I and um so um, I think what I'm hearing I, I keep hearing this often about business you know business people are born not made and I've always kind of rejected that <laughs> I I choose to believe that people uh, can learn how to do things and and succeed mm -hmm. uh, but that's me with my glass half full I mm -hmm. guess. <laughs> But um, I, I wonder if 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 the concept of drive really is an innate thing that we have or we don't have. I I, I really wonder if you can develop drive. Yeah, I do. I think you can develop drive because the drive is how is drive made? It drive is is made. I think by seeing others who who the person could potentially relate to. And say I want that, right? right? Or, or it could be something within their own their own family or their own personal system right. where they're in a they're in a, a place in their life where they don't like it or they want to mm -hmm. break out. They want to go forth into a different space in in this world, make a difference in the world, right? And I think that that drive is creative, right? Okay, I, I really do. Maybe by, by something they don't want uh, every bit as much as they do want. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So, um, so the drive and the experimentation and the the risk taking, and of course we all we all have external pressures on us, um, um, and and I you know being able to sort of visualize your own pathway. And to be working toward it, um, 
And I, there's another piece here, and, and here's something that that I've been I've been wrestling with myself uh, in terms of uh, when we've talked about doing affirmations in the past, and um, the whole concept of emotion that 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 a, a an affirmation is is just as just empty words unless there's a there's an emotion behind it, and I guess that's what passion is, isn't it? Pa passion mm -hmm. is an emotion. So to be able to find to to be able to find the emotion um, in all of this, whether it's um, a, um, and, and as we're de developing this drive or, or finding this drive, um, that's that's. Uh, and you know, a lot of this takes an awful lot of personal space and personal exploration, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Personal exploration and um, to um, uh, to be able to to be able to get in touch with uh, all those things that are going on inside us. I think is is um, and there are all kinds of ways to do that, but. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I, I think there's there are many doorways into that, yeah. but it's being willing to put in that personal reflective time to really discover where is that and what does that mean and what is our why and all of those things, and mm -hmm. they, these are not just paper exercises which I, I notice online um, and in you know a lot of courses and things, they 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 seem to be put down to paper exercises, and I think that those paper exercises don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's got it's got to it's got to come from deep inside, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of of time and personal reflection to uh, to to find that place. Yeah. So yeah. I, I wrote down a simple formula. And I think it kind of carries forth with what we were saying with drive. I think drive equals inspiration plus desire. And that's the, I think that's the formula is, is, is drive really is inspiration with the addition of desire or the, or the addition of want. Yeah. You know, if you want, if you want, you know, you want something that's, that's mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And and you see the you see other people who have it, and there's the inspiration, and then so that's what creates that drive to go to that point. Well, but I but I th I, I still think inspiration can be um, uh, recognizing uh, something that you don't want. How, can you give me an example? Well, um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about people who are in, a, for example, in a nine-to-five job, and they find themselves on a treadmill. Uh, okay, in, yeah, yeah, sure. In a job that they that they just hate, and um, they look, uh, they you know, they can either sort of stay with that where it's safe, or they can decide that um, this is uh, I, I, this is not good enough for me. This is not what I want. This is not who I am. And being ready to um, to um, um, move out of that, and and I think that drive uh, uh, can come from that. But I think inspiration, being uh, going out and looking to see what the alternatives are, and to think about where they are, I think that that's a really critical piece as well. Yeah, the definition of inspired, from what I've I've got here, is. Uh, to fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Ah. So, so it's interesting because it's not it's not saying something positive or negative, right? It's kind of a, a neutral thing. So it's, it's I think it's really up to the person's interpretation, right? But I think yeah, the ins the inspiration to get someone out of to get out of that nine to five job, right? Yeah. I think that's well, I think that's the uh, that's more of a desire. And then they see someone else who is not part of the nine to five job, right? Mm -hmm. And that's inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, we've all got lots of work, uh, um, lots of work to do. Uh, and and I, I guess the other piece I would say is this this internal exploration that needs to happen is an ongoing thing. It's not a one time thing. Absolutely. It's totally ongoing. Yeah. Yeah, 
But I think it's you got to be careful not to stretch yourself out too thin. You know, when it comes to self exploration, you know, you need to keep forging ahead. But yeah, occasionally you need to look left and look right before you cross the road. Yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, so Vivek, that's what our our um, thirty minute meditation in the morning is for. <laughs> yeah. We um, I, I do meditate mainly for uh, realizing my own uh, internal fire, if you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, but the it, meditation is not the only door. Uh, there are lots of other ways to exactly. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. lots of other it ways to get there. So right. Yeah, but I, I am. Sorry. I tried meditating once. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ended up sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Probably you needed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and meditation but, is. But that's no reason not to continue. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm looking at our time here. Uh, for once, we might stay within the hour. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> which is a very unusual thing for us. <laughs> and we even started on time. <laughs> and we even started on time. <laughs> so I think it's time for us to wrap up, uh, wrap up this conversation. I, uh, I, I found this uh, a very interesting conversation. I hope uh, those who are outside uh, viewing this uh, found it inspirational as well. And I thank my participants here, Vivek and Jay and Craig, for um, stimulating, uh, helping to stimulate that conversation. Uh, it's pretty hard to have a conversation all by yourself, isn't it? <laughs> so, so it's time no, to wrap no, up. Some people can talk for themselves quite easily. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, I notice that you, uh, when you're walking down the street these days, you think you need a lot of people talking to themselves. <laughs> Until you see the the little ear the little earpiece, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not insane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, we're going to close now, and uh, I just, just with a reminder for anybody who's watching from um, from my website, for example, uh, please do uh, find um, my Google Plus. Um, resources. I have the Being Your Own CEO community. And um, I have a, um, a collection that's called uh, Supports for Solopreneurs, where I try to help people. <laughs> Amazing from our conversation here. But I also invite you to please get uh, to know my, uh, my uh, colleagues here in the, in the green room as well. They offer um, really good services, and uh, we've all done a little bit of business with one another. Uh, that's one of the things that I've noticed about uh, over the um, what I think I'm uh, on my 109th uh, uh, hangout right now. That uh, those that have come in and have stayed here and have participated, we do end up doing business together, and that's kind of the way it the way it all works. So I really would like to uh, invite you all to uh, get to know all of us, and, and come and join us. Um, I've noticed that a few people said that they thought they would like to join us, but we're a little bit nervous about coming in, and so maybe uh, some people will find the courage to uh, join us uh, so sometime soon. So this is Lowell Ann signing off for this week, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now, and thanks again to my participants here. <laughs>